So this is a little overview of my room. As you can see, you don't have a huge amount of space. Um, I might do like more of like a room tour later on. For now, I'm just gonna be doing a makeup collection which is all over there, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So here's a little overview of my vanity. Here we've got my big vanity cube, which is literally the most amazing storage for makeup ever. As you can see, it literally holds just about everything. This is the main beauty of my desk, so I'm just gonna go through this now. Okay, so on the top one, I don't know if you can see, but it's split into loads of little compartments on this side, and then it's split here on this side, and it already kind of came with um, holes to put lip products in, in this compartment here. So here I have kind of concealers that I use or reach for day to day. The next part, I kind of keep powders that I reach for day to day. Then at the back, I've got kind of my setting sprays or like primers. So I've got the Smashbox Primer Water, Mario Badescu Rose Water. Right, and the next one, I kind of keep my skincare and primers. So I've got the, what's this? The Bright and Beautiful um, 6 and one and Radiant Serum from Soap and Glory. The NYX Angel Veil. Um, my eye cream, the Be Revealed eye cream. My Olay Moisturizer. The hydration flawless blur from Olay as well and the Laura Laura the L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer there too then I didn't really know how to store all my pencils or really what to do with the space at the back so I've got all my MAC pencils in there all my nude MAC pencils in there anyway then I got all my nude lip liners from other brands and then here I keep all my eye pencils Moving on to more the middle compartment is foundations that I reach for all the time and then in here I've just got um, like accessories. Then here are just nude lip products or just like lip products that I reach for a lot of the time. So I've got my uh, Pure Hollywood from Anastasia, Sepia from Anastasia, the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in Day Gleam or Daydream, the Tom Ford lip gloss in Naked, uh, Gerard Cosmetics Serenity and Aphrodite, Jeffree Star, um, oh, what is it, Celebrity Skin and I'm Nude, uh, the Milani lip gloss in Bare Secret, one from Makeup Forever, Marc Jacobs, uh, MAC Limited Edition Dazzle Glass, LA Girl, uh, MAC Lip Paint, Tom Ford NARS, Nude Sticks, and then soft matte lip cream from NYX and Cairo, which you guys know I absolutely love. Um, a matte lipstick in the shade Myself, which was a limited edition luster that I paid way too much for on eBay, but it's an amazing colour. And then two OCC lip tars. Ooh, let's just stand them up. So now I'm going to move on to the drawer. This is what the drawer looks like when you pull it out. So it's kind of got nine compartments in it. At the back, I've got my highlighters. These are the ones from Anastasia which you can get from Cult Beauty if you're from the UK. Obviously, you can order them from Anastasia if you're from the US or anywhere else. But um, So I've got um, the two lightest ones. So, so Hollywood, which is like the classic... Ooh, let me open it. You know, Whisper of Gil um, from MAC or the Kiko 208 eyeshadow, that kind of shade. And the Starlight one underneath. I've got Riviera in here and Peach Nectar. And I've got my two pressed Becca ones that I reach for the most, which is Topaz, which is more of like a shimmery bronzer, and then obviously Champagne Pop, uh, the Jaclyn Hill collaboration. Then here I've got like um, other face products that I use. Well, in here is two other face products that I use a lot. So like I said, I've got the Kiko 208 eyeshadow, the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, and this amazing nude uh, translucent mineral powder from Neve Cosmetics, which is amazing for brightening up under the eyes if you guys like that kind of effect. Here I've got my NARS Luster Blusher, which is like one of the only blushes that I actually wear because I don't really wear a lot of blushes, you guys can tell from my videos, but I really am getting into this one. And then my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Here are just two mascaras that I uh, use a lot as well. I use this one all the time. It's my MAC Extended Play Lash. You guys know I love this one. And then my sister sent me over a package from America because she lives there at the moment. So, Ellen, if you're watching this, hey. Um, but she recently sent me over some CoverGirl stuff. So this is one of their mascaras that I've been trying out and really, really liking. Other eye bits and, like, eye accessories, if that makes sense. So here I've got my... Uh, Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the shade Creme de Rose, which is basically a dupe for MAC Painterly, which I think I also have in here. 
Yeah, I've got MAC Pencil in here. I've got Black Track by MAC in there as well, and my NYC Liquid Liner. And then the Makeup Revolution Aquasil, which is really good for mixing with like pigments and stuff like that to really bring out their color. Then in here, I kind of keep my brow stuff. So I've got my Sigma Stunningly Lady like gel liner, but I like to use that on the ends of my brows to deepen them up. My MAC Medium Brown Dip Brow. My two little gimme brows, one from Model Co and the other from Benefit, the L'Oreal Artist Brow Pump and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Moving on to the next drawer is kind of um, eye stuff that I use a lot or just kind of like to have out on display. So here are kind of all the lashes that I reach for for nights out. I've got my lash glue, I've got my brow archery from Soap and Glory uh, in Hot Chocolate. Anastasia pencil in medium brown as well and my Kiko brow pencil. I've got my It Cosmetics mascara, my Better Than Sex mascara and the It Cosmetics uh, like eyelash primer thing which is really good. Um, I keep my tape at the back there and then here I've got this um, acrylic eyeshadow storage case from By Algori as well which is so handy for storing pigments and glitters and stuff. I use this to store mostly pigments and a few single eyeshadows but yeah on to the next drawer. This is kind of everything to do with cream, contouring, highlighting, that kind of stuff. So I've got all the Anastasia cream contour kits. I've got light, uh, dark and medium there. Then I've got the two new ones, the one in light and the one in fair. I've got the powder contour kit there from Anastasia, um, the Bourjois bronzing primer, the Chanel Soleil de Tan, the Kat Von D shade and light palette, the Bobbi Brown, uh, foundation stick in almond, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which technically isn't for highlighting or contouring, but I love that for like a night out, putting on my chest and my legs, and my arms and stuff like that. So I put it there to like rem remind me to use it. And then this really cool like contouring and highlighting stick from Neve Cosmetics. So on one end you've got that kind of contour uh, shade. Then here it's kind of like a pencil, which I really like. But yeah, that's it for that drawer. So in the last drawer is where I keep eyeshadows that I wear most days or just colours that I love the most, etc. Except for the one palette at the back, but I'll explain why that's in a second. So in here I've got all my MAC eyeshadows. And in here I've got my, um, all my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Here, oh, I got a palette under there. So I've got all my Makeup Geek uh, foiled eyeshadows here. And then these five at the bottom are Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows that they came out with their summer collection. And then at the back, I've got um, all the kind of um, really colourful Makeup Geek eyeshadows and then two blushes that I don't have a thing for yet. So I really like this one. So that's why I keep this in this drawer. So it reminds me to use it. But yeah, that is it for this beauty of an acrylic storage. I'll leave the link to this one down below because if you're a makeup lover like me, this is like the most perfect thing ever to have. This one is in the style New York. And yeah, like I said, I'll leave the link to that down below. So just a little overview for like the rest of my desk. Like I said, I keep my brushes in these two Ikea pots. Then obviously towards the back, uh, my dad put this up for me. I think it's meant for like kitchen utensils and stuff, but I thought it'd be really handy to kind of just display all my excess brushes on there. You have to excuse my hand, by the way, it's, gross I need to wash it it's got swatches all over it but um yeah so they just keep all my excess brushes in then here um this little thing I think is from Muji just basically keeps accessories or like lip balms or like stuff that I don't really reach for like I've just got a packet of um cotton buds there my bio oil there when I used to take my makeup off sometimes then over there is um a lip gloss holder from by Algori that I keep um, the two kind of lip glosses from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I wear most of the time. Then I've got the rest of um, the liquid lipsticks. This isn't all of them. Uh, these are just kind of colours that I reach for the most. So they're all just kept there. So here onto my Alex drawers. that They both fit in my corner like this. On to the first drawer. This isn't really beauty related. But it's basically where I keep all of my sunglasses. So here are the rest of my foundations. I've got this thing here that is from an online, a, a shop on Amazon basically that sells acrylic storage. So if you search acrylic storage into Amazon, I'm sure it will come up. Um, and then this trough 
Here at the front is from Muji. Um, in this I keep kind of foundations that are more my shade. Just down the side I've got my Ben Nye Banana Powder, Nasal Day Luminous Press Powder, the Rimmel uh, Clear Complexion uh, Powder, and then four of the NYX Mineral Sticks. In the middle foundation one are kind of ones that are a bit too light for me. And then in here I kind of keep my more high street ones. Then here at the front it's literally so wedged and I can't lift it up, but I basically keep like other like basically concealers that I don't use all the time. So that is that drawer. And then here, my lip drawer. So here I've got loads of Neve Cosmetics ones. I've got It Cosmetics one. I've got all my LA Glaze, LA Girl lip glazes. Here's kind of my um, like miscellaneous ones. These are all the uh, Kat Von D studded mini lipsticks that they came out with a set in Sephora once. So I picked them up. Then down here I've got a few of the Kate Moss ones. I've got all of my NYX matte lip creams there. Here I kind of have other liquid lipsticks. Here I keep my EOS lip balms and down in the middle is where I keep all of my Anastasia lip glosses. So they, these are kind of all the dark ones. Here I keep all my nude lip glosses. This is where I keep all my corals and my bright pink. And here I keep most of my like chubby sticks ones. If you guys have any better way to store lip products, let me know. So on to the next drawer. This is kind of excess bronzers and blushes and stuff like that. So I keep all my cream highlighters in there. Then these two um, blushes and highlighters from Soap and Glory, Model Co. And these are kind of all, oh that's a blusher from Neve Cosmetics as well. Uh, my other Becca highlighter in Moonstone, the Laura Mercier um, Indiscretion highlighter, which I think is limited edition but is beautiful then i keep kind of blusher palettes or bronzer palettes these two kind of shimmery highlighter things from wet n wild some love park like boxed blushes things from um makeup revolution which are really cute that's that drawer in the next drawer down i kind of keep other eye bits so here are all my kind of cream colors from anastasia uh, these two cream, um, like the rose gold foiled shadows, one from Australis and one from uh, Makeup Revolution. In here, it's just a trough where I keep all my glitters. Here, I keep all my like excess mascaras or liquid liners that I don't use so much. Here is just kind of eye products that I don't really reach for that often. Two uh, Sigma mascaras that I'm gonna try. Then all my Bella Pierre cosmetics. As you can see, I like to keep things in brands as much as I can. So the next drawdown is just deeper and this is where I keep all my palettes. Here I just keep eye primers that I don't really wear that often and then here I've got some Makeup Revolution um, palettes that I just keep in a box at the back. So that's that drawer. Then the last kind of makeup related drawer is this one. So this is kind of where I keep lashes. So all of the white ones here that you see are Esquido. These ones here are Velour, some backstage lashes, um, some more Lena lashes. Red Cherry, House of Lashes, and then that's just a lash case. So I don't have the box for the lashes that were in them anymore. And probably ones that I take traveling with me more. So that is it for my makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this wasn't meant to brag. You guys always ask about my makeup. And I've accumulated this over such a long period of time. And obviously you guys know makeup is my hobby. It's what I do for like a living. So I'm bound to accumulate a bunch of stuff. And obviously I'm lucky enough to get stuff sent to me as well. I'll leave the links to the storage down below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.